where do you see the election playing into the level of volatility that we may experience uh, over the next 60 days or so? And, and I guess my observation, not yours, the last week has not been a particularly good one for President Trump. Is the market starting to, to look at and, in a, in a meaningful way, discount the possibility uh, that the next president may be Joe Biden? And do they like that? Yeah, Tyler, I think the three biggest volatility-inducing uncertainties right now include whether or not there will be another round of fiscal stimulus agreed to by the Republican Democrats, and if there is, what will it entail? Two, additional progress on the vaccine front, and will there, in fact, be a vaccine available this fall? And then finally, and the biggest uncertainty right now that we're hearing from clients is around the election, remembering that not only is the next president of the United States at stake, but we also have the balance of power in Washington at stake with a number of House of Representatives on the ballot in addition to Senate candidates. So that's what's on the minds of investors right now. And every time we hear an updated poll or potential election results or delays in those results, that's going to have an impact on the market psychology and that's going to create volatility. That's why you need to build diversification into your portfolios. Kevin Mann, thanks very much. Always good to see you. Eric Knudsen, same to you.